hello all of you welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be explaining you regarding various types of cements and is codes for these types of cements and let us also see what are the uses of this types of cement so the first one is ordinary portland cement in ordinary portland cement we have three grades 33 grade 43 grade and 53 grade where the number 33 or 43 or 53 uh, denotes the compressive strength of cement okay so for 33 grade OPC we have IS 269 2015 is the revised version and for 43 grade we have IS 8112 2013 and also for 53 grade we have IS 12269 2013. So coming to the uses of ordinary Portland cement you know this is the most widely used type of cement which is suitable for all general concrete constructions. It is the most widely produced and used type of cement all around the world and uh, the global annual production around uh, about this OPC is nearly 3.8 million cubic meters and this type of cement is generally suitable for all construction purposes so that's how uh, OPC is the most widely used type of cement so let's get into the second one which is rapid hardening cement so the IS code confined to this type of cement is IS 8041 1990 is the revised version. So rapid hardening cement attains high strength in the earlier days. It is used in concrete where formworks are to be removed at an early stage and it is a little similar to ordinary Portland cement. This cement has increased lime content and contains higher amount of C3S and a finer grinding capacity. So this gives a very high strength development than OPC at the early stages. So the next one is quick setting cement. So the IS code confining to quick setting cement is IS6452 of the year 1972. The difference between quick setting and rapid hardening cement is that quick setting cement sets earlier at the same time. The rate of gain of strength is similar to OPC while quick hardening cement or rapid hardening cement gains strength quickly. So quick setting cement means setting is quicker but not strength gaining means uh, the strength gaining process what we have discussed in hydration that will be the same process like OPC. But in rapid hardening cement hardening is rapid in the sense strength gaining is rapid so you have to note the difference between both of them and form work in both the cases can be removed earlier especially used for uh, underwater constructions or when you where you want to do concreting for running water and also cold weather conditions so the next coming uh, cement type of cement what we have is sulfate resisting cement so the IS code confining to this type of cement is IS12330-1988. So as the name itself it is telling this cement is resistive towards sulphate attack. This type of cement is used to reduce the risk of sulphate attack on the concrete and hence it is used in construction of foundations where the soil is having high amount of sulphate in it. This cement has reduced contents of C3A and C4AF. And sulphate resisting cement is used in constructions exposed to severe sulphate action by water and soil. Likewise in places like canal linings, culverts, retaining walls, siphons etc. Next one is oil well cement. So generally oil well cement uh, the code confining to this is IS8229-1986. This oil well cement is used to seal the oil wells inside to prevent the leakages of oil from the well to mix up into the ground. Next comes uh, Pozzolona Portland cement or Portlona, Portland Pozzolona cement what we call PPC. So Portland Pozzolona cement is prepared by grinding Pozzolonic clinker with Portland cement means uh, along with clinker powder gypsum we add a pozzolonic material to it so like ply ash calcined clay ggbs etc 
so likewise uh, here I have taken fly ash based and uh, calcined clay based so you can see IS 1489 2015 part 1 and part 2 and uh, it is also produced by adding pozzolana along with the addition of gypsum or calcium sulfate or by intimatingly and uniformly blending Portland cement and pozzolana so at a time you can add all the three and grind it to fine powder as told earlier or else whatever OPC you are getting again add pozzolanic material to it finely ground pozzolanic material to it you will get the PPC and uh, this type of cement is very much helpful in all sort of hydro hydraulic structure constructions pre and post tension concrete sewers and also this cement has uh, reduced heat of hydration next one is low heat cement so low heat cement is produced by maintaining the percentage of tricalcium aluminate which is our C3A below 6% by increasing the portion of C2S a small quantity of tricalcium aluminate makes the concrete to produce low heat of hydration as discussed earlier in our hydration concept C3A the both compound C3A tricalcium aluminate is the one which is giving highest amount of heat of hydration so one if somebody requires a cement with the low heat of hydration then we can reduce the content of C3A for less than 6 percentage it should not exceed 6 percentage low heat cement is suitable for mass concrete constructions like gravity dams as it has very low heat of hydration it prevents the cracking of concrete due to heat so as told uh, you have uh, its uses in dam construction large footings raft slabs etc and also this cement has increased power against sulfates and is less reactive and initial setting time is greater than ordinary portland cement so the is code confining to low heat cement is is 12600 1989 next we have high alumina cement so what is this high alumina cement high alumina cement uh, is obtained by melting a mixture of bauxite and lime and grinding it with clinker it is a rapid hardening cement with initial uh, initial and final setting times of about 3.5 to 5 hours respectively so you can see how much delay in the setting times is taking place due to high presence of alumina and uh, the compressive strength of this type of cement is very high it is more workable than ordinary portland cement and it is used in works where concrete is subjected to high temperatures frost and acidic action so that's how we can see in the users column it is used in marine construction and sewer infrastructure why because those places are very much prone to acid attacks okay next one we have hydrophobic cement this is also known as hydrographic cement so hydrophobic or hydrographic cement are the same whose is code is is8043 2005 this cement is prepared by mixing water repelling chemicals and has very high workability and strength it has a property of repelling water and it remains unaffected during rains or any monsoon season this cement is mainly used for the construction of water structures such as dams water tanks spillways manholes water retaining structures anything you can use hydrophobic cement next you have white cement so as the name itself it looks white in color is code for white cement is is 8042 1989 it is prepared from raw materials which are free from iron oxide why because as talked in uh, chemical composition of cement the color of the cement is due to iron oxide so we are making white cement which is we don't want that uh, color so hence you have to exclude iron oxide so prepare uh, this uh, preparation of this cement has uh, raw materials which are not having any iron oxide in it and it is also a type of ordinary portland cement which is just looking white in color it is costlier and it is used for architectural purposes decorative purposes such as uh, precast curtain walls facing panels terrazzo surfaces etc 
and also for all sort of interior and exterior decorative works also external renderings of the buildings facing slabs as tall floorings ornamental concrete products uh, any pathways in your gardens swimming pools etc so that's how is the use of white cement so this are all about the various types of cements so hope you understood the video thank you